welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new video i know i have not done this in a while i'm sure you guys are like who is this honey um yes it is i okay i am here right now um you know the last time i kind of disappeared from youtube it was literally i ex i had made a video about it i explained what was going on this time around it was a completely different circumstance i'm not gonna lie so um i had i was literally forced into taking time out from content creation um but by saying that i don't really mean content creation as a whole youtube content creation to be more specific um the reason being youtube requires time and it requires a lot of work you have to set up your content right you have to know what you're going to talk about and also you just need to ensure that you know you have the time to edit your videos and you have to make them you know align and make it and make it make everything all right you know it's not easy um so i was present in on on, on um, instagram and a bit on tiktok so i'm gonna ask you to please follow me on instagram for more you know real life on life uh live more like content um so that you just you know you get to see that i'm still present on the socials I'm, i was just not creating youtube content because of time so if you um you don't know or you missed uh, the video where i was showing you guys and telling you guys that I am starting my own candle line so that is happening okay and this month the month of June is the month when we are launching you guys I can't believe it like I honestly cannot believe it so we are launching this month and I'm not gonna lie from the from the month of May up till now as I'm filming this I have just been making candles galore i have been testing and testing and doing this and doing that and so i literally did not have time to be filming content for youtube let me just show you guys my products so i have two different types of candles that i'm gonna be launching so i have this one um so this one is just in a in a little box white box like this and inside it looks like this so as you can see this is um a white jar like crystal white jar with a bamboo wooden lid i re oh my gosh you guys so i we are not at home right i mean, I mean you can see by the background we are Tepo decided to take me somewhere, okay? And there are monkeys here that like we are sur surrounded by nature. So I'm literally looking out on the trees and the balcony and the monkeys are just everywhere. They are everywhere. <laughs> and right now he's just jumping around and looking at me. It's so weird. Anyway, so it has this um, bamboo lead. And so this is the first type of container that I'm going to be launching. But of course, I'm going to be launching different scents. So there's going to be three different scents in this type of container coming with this type of packaging. And honestly, I love this crystal white packaging. I think it's my favorite. But, but I'm kind of torn, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not being biased because these are my products, okay? I'm not being biased, but the glass is also so awesome. I'm just not sure what I like the most right now. So the glass comes in this beautiful, beautiful packaging that slides open like this. And I am obsessed to say i am obsessed is like i am not even doing it justice this little box this box is the greatest thing ever oh my gosh these monkeys but you know guys um when i was thinking of how i wanted to present this candle if you watched that video you would know that i said i wanted to give you an experience when you purchase it i didn't just want it to be you know oh i'm buying a candle but when you open it i wanted you to feel something you know and so this is why i decided to go with this beautiful packaging for the glass candle so as you can see here it is so this is the glass jar and of course uh, for, for for all for both the type of jars that i've chosen they're all gonna come with 
three scents so you can decide which scent you want to go for right now the one that i'm holding is a scent called um come sunday i called it come sunday it it when i when i smelled the scent when i first made the candle when i was testing and i was lighting it i thought to myself how perfect would this candle be if it was to be lit on a beautiful sunday morning when you're waking up cooking breakfast for your family or you are just trying to pamper yourself because it's a sunday and it's the weekend we're trying to you know re-energize before we go back to work that is how i came about that candle but this is not about just the candles this video is not about just the candles i just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that i've experienced the differences that i've experienced between trying to start you know a product based business which is my candle business gm candle co versus when i was starting my online coaching program which is solely a digital based business you know so i have learned a lot you know during the startups of the two so the differences between the two businesses have honestly just been immense and it's been a huge learning curve of me trying to start up this business i'm not gonna lie you guys like it has taken so much out of me which is one of the reasons why tempo decided babe i need to take you somewhere where you can just relax and just not think of anything funny thing is as soon as we got to this place I got so inspired to just start creating content for YouTube. So I'm gonna get right into the differences that I have experienced and all the learnings that I've learned while trying to start up these two businesses. So let's start number one with the ease of starting the businesses, okay? First of all, I started with the digital coaching program and honestly, that was one of the easiest things I had to start. and. If you want to start that business, I'm honestly going to say just go for it. I mean, the ease that came with the systems that I just had to put in place to start that business, it was just simple, it was smooth, it was, you know, it was smooth sailing um, compared to the ease that I had to, the ease of starting a product-based business. So in terms of the systems, for my digital uh, coaching program, I honestly just had to make sure that I had a website. Of course, you require a website to start um, you know, most of the businesses that we're starting to do online. So I started my website and of course I had Tepo help me with that. He created the website, set up everything and it was working. The second thing that I knew that I, I needed to have was a booking system because I didn't want to just say WhatsApp me so that you can talk or DM me or something like I did, I really wanted it to be as professional as I could have made it. And so I needed a system where people can go on there and they can book a slot so that we book um, the, the coaching, you know, a session, a coaching session. So then I had to set up what we, a, a system called Calendly. Calendly. Um, so Calendly, I would 100% recommend, um, you know, when I was using it, when I, as I am using it, I find it very simple to use. I, it was very simple to set up. I mean, the people who are booking through it find it very easy to set up. It easily links to my Google Calendar. And so perfect. I love, I love, love, love it. And from there, of course, we needed, I needed a system where I can actually conversate with um, uh, the people who are booking um, and you know to sh schedule follow-ups and so of course I needed to have zoom just so that we can meet up and talk and 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 then I of course had to had Canva I mean if you are in a, a creator whatever you're creating you definitely definitely need to use canva i used canva to you know write the reports that i am sending out and to design them properly and i also used canva to design my invoice my invoicing templates and from there on of course i needed to get paid so i had to set up a bank account for the business and yeah i mean most at most those are the systems that i really needed to have in place just to begin my business and after i had those set up i just had to come come onto my youtube um channel and of course tell you guys that i ha i now have this sort of business um you know that i am starting compared to the candle business so first of all for the candle business i needed to first think 
what type of candle do I need? Okay, do I wanna produce? Um, once I had to, uh, once I had decided that, I had to now start researching um, how to go about making candles. And 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 if you watch that video, you would know that this is something that I actually thought of like two years ago. Um, but now you know the all, all the means just came together for me to actually do it. So in terms of now this is having systems to actually bring this to life. First of all, I had to think I need um, um, candle jars or candle canisters to hold the candles in. I had to find suppliers, you guys. And I think um, finding suppliers was honestly one of the most critical things and the most challenging things for me. Um, of course, Tebo was there every step of the way helping me. Um, it was hard finding the perfect, perfect uh, supplier especially for the jars because for me I didn't want the jars that I saw in South Africa because in my mind I thought everybody's gonna be using those jars so I needed to find another supplier that was gonna supply me with the type of jars that I wanted and I did find that supplier and we have a great working relationship with them. I love them. So after finding a supplier for my jars, I, did, I, I also asked them if they were going to be able to also provide me with, um, you know, the packaging side of it. They said yes. And they also, they asked, do you want anything to be on your candles, a logo or writing or whatever? And I said, yes, I do. And I sent them a... A PDF template of what I wanted to be on the jars so that they print on the jars and they print on the packaging and they did it perfectly I love working with those people they're so professional and then after that I then had to find now a supplier for the wigs and I had to find a supplier for the wigs I had to find a supplier for my fragrance oils and I then you know the again I had to look for the perfect suppliers so the, the one big thing honestly is just around finding suppliers but I eventually found people that I really loved working with and so far I've been loving it apart from the packaging side and the actual material to make the candles I also had to decide do I want to make this um, a, do I want to have a website for these candles or how do I want to go about it because one of the things that I realized was for most South African producers of candles they, you go to their I, found, I find most of them on Instagram but when I go to their business pages and I will see a link but that link will not be a website it will be a link that will either send me onto a, a WhatsApp um, you, you know to WhatsApp so that I can WhatsApp them for the order and I thought I definitely don't want this. I want things to be as professional as possible. That's just how I operate. If it does not look professional, I'm not going to buy from you. So I said I need I, I need to have a website. And of course, I have my own website designer right here at home. So Tepo designed the website for me. And then up, after that website was in place, we needed, of course, photography for the candles themselves. And I went online and I found a photographer who's going to assist. We haven't taken website um, website photos as I speak um, because we're still trying to see if we can be able to take our own photos before we actually, um, you know, hire a photographer. And um, what else? Of course, I needed a way to advertise on social media for the business. So I had to set up a social media account for the business or uh, for my candles. And I have a an Instagram page that I have set up um, called Google underscore Inc. Um, so you can just follow that page as well to get all of the updates regarding when the candles are actually going to go on launch. But as I'm filming this video right now, the thought is in two weeks time, I'm going to be launching and I'm not sure when I'm going to be um, putting this video out. But before the launch date, I will let you guys know when the launch date is going to be. And so I had to set up that um, that Instagram page and that Instagram page is live right now. And of course, I'm still very much advertising on my own um, Instagram page as well and my Facebook page. Um, and then after that, what else did I need to have set up? Oh, of course, um, I've almost forgot one critical part. The, the jars, the packaging, 
I had to source them from outside the country and so that meant I needed to have a system to bring them into South Africa and to have a way for me to actually receive them to my place to have them delivered and so I needed to have a freight forwarder so that they you know they liaise between me and the supplier so that we get the products here at home so the freight forwarder handled everything as i said you know um from the ship when ship when we had to ship um to receiving the 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 supplies here in south africa and clearing it with sars and all of that until you know they got delivered in our home oh yes of course of course the one thing that i have not mentioned is that then i had to then decide how am i gonna ship the products once somebody buys from me and and so I had to then go ahead and look for shipment com shipping companies or courier companies around. And I on, that was also another, you know, goose chase to say, which one do I choose? Which one is most efficient and which one does not charge the most? Because you want efficiency, but not when it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, and so far, I think the, 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 the company that we're going to be using is the most, you know, it's the most um, effective yet not as expensive way um you will see all of that once you guys start placing your orders and we have to ship your products to you ah i can't even believe i'm saying that i am gonna be shipping products to people like what does that even mean i think you guys I, I will one day maybe do you know a little story um a story time about you know me and where i come from and how the Google that you guys see here on YouTube is so different from the girl I grew up being. Um, you know, um, so for me to be sitting here saying I'm, 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 I have, I'm basically, I basically have two running businesses. It's, I, I can't, I don't know. I can't even, I, yeah, if, if you, if I was 15 and you were telling me that this would be my life right now, I was going to say, yeah whatever you know because at that moment things you know but yeah you know it's amazing how life changes as you go i know that god literally made this happen right now for a reason um you know so i'm i'm honestly just at a point where i am thankful i am thankful to see something that i was thinking in my head come to life i am thankful to see you know something that i you know, these are things that I, I, I would sit and I would think of. How would it be like when I, if I were to make a product? How would it be like if I were to start a business? And to actually think that I'm, I'm actually doing it is honestly just something that I can never, I can never take for granted. And honestly, for having you guys, you know, and you know, the people who are doing it so, to show us, you know that it is doable you can start a business and you know you can do something for yourself honestly for me i, I feel like representation is one of the most critical factors that influenced my that has influenced most of my decisions you know starting from starting a youtube channel to starting businesses that followed and thereafter representation mattered a lot for me seeing other young women the other young black women doing things for themselves it just gave me that idea and that you know that strength and that belief to know that it is possible you can do it and i can only hope and i can only pray that i can also be that oh this thing smells so good that i can also be that person for another young woman or for another young you know south african or another young african who is sitting there thinking i can never do anything i'm telling you right now that if i can do it you can do it i can tell you that right now so for me representation matters a lot and i'm honestly just so thankful that i can actually see it hold it touch it smell it right in front of me and i cannot wait to tell you guys of the launch date but yeah so for today's video you guys this is where i'm gonna leave it i hope you really learned something from it um and i hope you really did enjoy it because i can tell you i've enjoyed filming it a lot okay so thank you guys for watching this video i love you all bye guys